Scientists have long used time-lapse photography to capture natural phenomena invisible to the naked eye. By shooting individual frames of film at a specified interval, the time-lapse camera artificially accelerates the speed of natural events. Thus, flowers bloom in seconds, sea stars glide across the ocean floor, and glaciers lurch into the sea. One modern-day pioneer in the field of time-lapse photography is Dr. Albert Chung. After retiring from the medical profession, Dr. Chung becomes intrigued by the power of time-lapse photography. He spends his spare time trying to reproduce the results of historical experiments. His first attempt, to film seedlings of the Lathyrus odoratus, or common sweet pea. He later discovers the seeds he has planted have long ceased to be viable. Undaunted, he sets out to record the movements of sea stars. An equipment failure leaves all his subjects dead. Discouraged, he nearly abandons his efforts when he notices something remarkable while reviewing footage from the failed experiments. Behind the experimental subject, a coffee mug has inexplicably moved across the table. There is nothing in the published literature to account for such movement. Dr. Chung is convinced he has discovered a new type of behavior for inanimate objects. He dubs the phenomenon Chungian motion in honor of his father. He tries photographing other inanimate objects around his home, hoping to capture more instances of Chungian motion. His findings are inconclusive until he films a basket of dirty laundry. The experiment is a rousing success and the clearest evidence of Chungian motion to date. An unexpected benefit is the link between Chungian motion and the already documented phenomenon of socks that disappear from the laundry. Dr. Chung is ecstatic. However, his elation comes to an abrupt end as family conflicts begin to impede his research. In particular, his son, Albert Chung Jr., returns home after the failure The new living arrangements take their toll on the household. An experiment is ruined because the alignment of a camera has been disturbed. Albert Jr. maintains his innocence, claiming to have been watching television at the time. For Dr. Chung, it is the breaking point. He is on the verge of demanding that his son move out when he has a revelation. To all observers, Albert Jr. remains in a fixed position on the living room sofa for days at a time. However, there is physical evidence of his movement throughout the house. Fast food refuse, empty beer receptacles, stacks of men's entertainment periodicals. Until now, Dr. Chung has restricted his search for Chung in motion to inanimate objects. Could living things also exhibit Chung in motion? His next experiment would prove groundbreaking. Time-lapse photography reveals that indeed, Chung in motion is not restricted to inanimate objects. For Dr. Chung, it is another mystery solved. From coffee mugs, to dirty socks, to indolent offspring, time-lapse photography uncovers secrets of nature that might otherwise go undetected. Only time will tell what other mysteries will be revealed by the time-lapse camera of Dr. Albert Chung.